Hey, what's going on, everyone? Just going to show you the fifth week of what I'm calling my jacked and tan training. And uh, this is just more higher rep bodybuilding stuff, but on this fifth week, which starts a new cycle, I'm also doing some over warm, heavier sets. And um, this is Monday's heavier set. I did 375 for two. And all my heavy sets are just one plus. So if I feel good, then I'll just keep going. And I'll try to get as many as I can. If I feel bad, I'll just get the one. And um, 375 for two is uh, 10 pounds less than my best single belt is high bar. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get that 405 single at the end of the cycle, no problem. Um, that was 245 for 10, just trying to go down and up as fast as I can. Getting pretty good at that with the high bar squat. The uh, movement pattern's getting much better. This is Tuesday's slingshot bench training session. You can get 315 for five. Decent pauses on these. Um, my bench is definitely the lift that's been going up the best over these last couple of weeks. And um, that probably just has to do with the fact that I'm doing pressing three times per week. And uh, the bench is two of those. And I'm also doing like an inclined bench on one of those or something like that. But either way, I'm, I'm pressing three times per week. I'm also doing dips now, and I know that dips have really helped out. Got it to where now I could probably hit like 50 straight or something like that if I came at it fresh. I don't know. Wednesday is uh, my, my deadlift day, and the last five weeks I've been doing deficit deadlifts, and I think last week I got 425 for two pretty easily. This week was 415 for one plus, and uh, I got it for four pretty, pretty easy. Um, I was going to go for a 5, but right when I locked it out, my quad kind of cramped up. So I just decided to call it at 4. It's okay with me. Uh, it's still a pretty good lift for a 4-inch deficit deadlift. I like wearing my Oli shoes when I'm deadlifting. And I uh, feel like it gives me more power off the floor. And uh, this is a military press, so I keep my heels together, no leg drive. This is 160 for 6 or something like that. Um, putting my head through the bar. Um, just to kind of go back to the old way I used to press to see if it's helping out um, on that top set. And, uh, you know, I think I just have to keep playing around with my form and find out what works for me and give some things a go and, you know, toss things to the wayside when I've figured out that it doesn't really work for me. It just takes some time to figure out what works and what doesn't. This is the lift that definitely doesn't work for me. It's the front squat really hate the front squat right now. Our rack position is just terrible and uh, it makes it really hard to get quality reps in and get enough work in really. This is 245 for five and if I had a better rack position I could get a whole lot more with this. I've done 285 for five before and um, this was really easy with the exception of the fact that I felt like my hands were going to get torn off. So I'll keep working on the front squat, maybe. I don't know. I might try to find some sort of like replacement for it. This is uh, today's bench session. This is 285. I get it for seven. This used to be my five rep max. I just haven't repped it out in a while, so I've probably been able to do this for quite some time. But uh, 285 for seven, it's two more than I've ever done it for. Um, hopefully, my five rep max is around 290 or 295. That'd be great. I've gotten 295 for four, but. Uh, failed on the fifth rep, so that sucks. Dropped it back down, and I uh, did 215, 225, 235. And on the 235, I did a, a rep out. So I got 10 on those 215, 225, and 235, I got 12. Doing touch and go. Um, after this, I did some dips, or close grip bench and dips and all that kind of stuff too. So it's all coming together. Um, getting stronger in this higher rep range, bringing up those lagging body parts like my shoulders specifically, been doing a lot of lateral raises, more incline benching, been doing a lot of dips, um, and more direct tricep and bicep work, lots of hammer curls, doing pec flies and all that kind of stuff. Probably do this for another two, three more weeks, and then maybe transition into more uh, traditional powerlifting style training that I've, I've done with my method. But so far, everything's going really well. Thanks for watching. 
I'll keep you posted on my progress.